We're changing things up in this video. The Safe Moon Swap partners, we have either been seeing extremely low trading volume or in some cases, no trading volume whatsoever. So I'm going to be putting some focus on a couple of the tokens there, but most of this is going to be on the rest of the crypto market. And so we're going to start with the general crypto market here and then also highlight some big movers that have been taking place for the day. So starting with Bitcoin, we can see it's up 0.78%, still above $30,000. Getting a little bit closer to the $31,000 mark as of the time of me recording this video, there's less than an hour left in the trading day candle. So we'll see how that plays out. Then we have Ethereum. It's essentially flat. It's down 0.01%. BNB is up once again, up 1.62%. We see that Dogecoin is also slightly up 0.09%. XRP, a little bit of a pullback down 0.15%. So generally speaking, the market seems pretty flat, but slightly in the green. We do have, of course, as I mentioned, that there are some of these that are down a little bit, like also AVAX. AVAX is down 1%. So we'll go into some of the big movers here in just a moment, but let's go ahead and focus on Bitcoin, Ethereum, and BNB. So starting with Bitcoin, if we head over to the trading charts, one good sign is that we see that the 50 moving average and the 200 moving average, the green and yellow lines, they're still separated, moving essentially parallel, but it almost looks like that green line might even be starting to slope a little bit higher, which is good news. We're still in this sideways consolidated space with Bitcoin. We've been in that channel for quite a while now, dating back to essentially the barrier of entry to that was on June 21st. So waiting to see how this will play out. Volume itself, not super high. We did have a pretty high day back on June 30th here, but the last really big push that took place was back on that June 21st when it gave us into that entry point. So we got $30,000 as a support line. We still have a level of resistance around 31,600. And again, we're waiting to see how this is gonna play out, but it could happen any moment, any day now. It doesn't really require too much because by comparison, we can see that the low volume activity is still causing enough of a move within that channel zone to put it on the brink of passing one way or the other. So we're on two days of green candles there. Moving on to that of BNB. So with BNB, same thing, we can see that we're in this sideways channel. Something that is noteworthy is that the 50 and 200 moving average here is actually in a death cross pattern. So this is a bearish trend pattern. And as we can see, we had the significant drop that took place back on June 5th, in which it went all the way down to around $220. So we have had a little bit of a bounce back up. There was some recent news that was pretty bullish for Binance with the new token that was being launched and how that also created an opportunity for more buying volume for BNB as well as for more staking. So something else I wanna point out to you guys here is that if we take a look at the last time we were essentially within a consolidated channel, it lasted for 27 days approximately. And if we drop that down here, we can see that we've already exceeded that time span. So is there a chance that we could see this start to make a significant move out soon? Realistically, I think so, especially by comparison, when you see how Bitcoin is so close to entering into the yearly high, uh, once again, which actually happened just recently. So that could cause some momentum for altcoins such as BNB to also make a run up. Now, also to point out is that the 50 moving average is at approximately $260 for the day. Passing above that line could cause some traders that use these technical charts to also cause further momentum, pushing it higher as it tries to test the next major key level resistance of which is around $292. 300 is the psychological level. And then for Ethereum, moving over to that one, we can see that we do have a little bit of concern here for the 50 and the 200 moving average. We can see that they're getting closer and closer to pinching together, suggesting potentially a death cross movement there. But once again, if Bitcoin does make it strong push up, we are more than likely going to see altcoins do the same. But how soon is a great question. Something else that is bullish for Ethereum is that as we can see the top level resistance here, if this does wanna con uh, continue to consolidate sideways, at this pace, we would essentially naturally pass above it 
around July 23rd. So not even having to wait till next month, it would still be within this month's time span. But then the question is, how does Ethereum react to it? If it ends up dropping down, then yes, this could be some serious concern because then it would not only be dropping below the 50, 200 moving, uh, 50 moving average, but also potentially dropping below the 200 moving average. And then we would be looking at levels down around 1,450 or so. Okay, now hopping back over here to the general crypto market. Some of the big movers for the day, let's move over here. We have Aave is up 6.07%. It's looking quite good. We have Flex is down though, 5.25%. Some other significant movers, this one's a bit of a surprise, is FTT. That's right, that is for the FTX exchange token. It's up 16.71%, market cap of over half a billion dollars. Then, hopping back over here, take a look at one or two more. Popping on down into some of these altcoins, we've got things such as this ONG up nearly 32%, hanging right around 30 cents. We got Dell is up 27.68%, around 2 cents. And then this Bryze is up 22.53%. We see a lot of zeros there. So the more zeros that you got, typically you don't need much in volume in order to be able to get the percentages to change. But hey, it is making some big moves. Okay, now moving on to, we have a couple tokens here. Let me just double check things. There we go, okay, organize. I had two of the same charts and it threw me off there for a second. So we got Safe Moon for the BNB pairing. This one is on another green daily candle. It is up 1.07%, but it has $16,000 on the buy side versus $22,000 on the sell side. So we're seeing a discrepancy there about $6,000 in more sell pressure, even though the candle is looking green. Then we have Safe Moon with Polygon. This one here, no trading activity in the last 24 hours. So the last candle is green. Then we take a look at Safe Moon with Ethereum. Same thing, there's no trading activity for that one either in the last day. Blockbuster Tech is up 1.27%, $1,600 in buy volume, $1,600 in sell volume. So it's essentially flat on the day. Then we have Pepe. There's only one transaction through the SafeMoon swap. It's for $174 and was a sell. Now outside of the SafeMoon swap, a meme coin I've been talking about in a lot of other videos, just to give you guys a price update in this one, it is up 26.4% in the last 24 hours. It is officially above the launch price once again. So zooming out a tad bit here, we can see that on the launch day, it had a very strong run. The next three days were pullbacks. We tried to make some recovery there on the next day. Then we had four more red days, another green day, two more red days. Here's another green day. And it is up about 5%, 5.71% above that actual launch price. And we're looking at volume, $17,000 in the buy side versus $9,600 on the sell side. So that one's looking pretty good right now. And there we go, there are the latest price moves. Let me know what you guys think about this format. Do you guys like this more? Tell us down in the comments below. I think for the next video, I might try and keep everything related more so to this specific page so when i zoomed in i was talking about some of these other cryptocurrencies I'll probably do that and then i can go ahead and move into the real nitty-gritty trading chart analysis of bitcoin ethereum and bnb but yeah i would love to know what you guys think about this tell me in the comments i really appreciate you guys and uh also probably be doing some additional videos of some of the latest news in crypto i'm still contemplating whether or not i want to do those as shorts or not and uh thank you to my Patreon supporters, double shout out, thank you to WeLoveSafeMoon.com, Victor Vegas, SafeMoon Oz for being higher level patrons. Thank you to my YouTube members for your support as well. God bless and we'll see you in the next episode.